This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and today I'm going to be doing a video about adding a new horn to the Chevrolet Caprice. First, we're going to start with the unboxing, and then we'll do the install and then some testing. All right. So here's the product. It's two sirens, an amplifier and play unit, a remote a uh, USB flash drive with ice cream truck music on it, a power cable as well. So let's open this stuff up and look it over. All right, so let's take a look what's in the box of the siren, which it's just wrapped up. Pretty simple, it's just a two wire uh, siren. So obviously you're gonna have to run the wires, mount this in a location where water isn't gonna directly get in it. I'd recommend probably having it face downwards. Uh, that way you're not gonna get that and it'll the sound will almost ricochet off the ground. So that's what's in the siren box. Okay, and uh, this was kind of interesting. So this kit's actually made by Boom Blasters, although their website is for ice cream trucks. Now, I have installed a Boom Blasters horn before, but it was a self-contained unit. Uh, first thing that I noticed about these uh, sirens is that this wire attached to these is very short, so I'm going to have to solder and make some additional connections. Uh, we have the remote control, and then we have this set of RCA cables with a banana type stereo jack on that. You have your instructions. In this bag, it's just the uh, power connector, uh, just to try this out uh, through the car's cigarette lighter. Obviously, you can wire that in. Now let's open up the amplifier. All right, so here is the Kinter 500 watt amplifier. Uh, you got your speaker outputs, you have power in, you have these auxiliary inputs on this side. If you turn it around, you're going to have a volume control, a treble, a bass, and then also a USB connection as well, so you can use that thumb drive of different uh, songs. The unit also comes with, these are your speaker outputs that'll need to be hooked up. And then also this wire, which has this weird thing on the end. I'm not 100% sure what that is actually. Um, very strange. I'll figure that out. All right, so I've just temporarily hooked it up, got the USB in, have a, on a charger. Uh, just to power this, but you can see that this thing just gets really, really loud when this thing's going. Let's uh, let's get it rolling. That is loud. All right, so I found a spot to mount the. Um, siren pedestals which is on the side of the uh the alarm system uh siren itself so there'll be three sirens here uh but that gives me good room and i don't have to crawl under the car and uh, i think it'll be plenty loud enough all right so i got the two sirens in i got it temporarily wired up i just did a quick test it does work uh, but i'm gonna clean this all up and make some nice electrical connections with this. 
and uh, once I'm done with that, this should be good to go. Uh, I do just have the unit hooked up to the cigarette lighter supply, and I still need to permanently wire all that stuff, but that's pretty much how it goes in. Well, I think that's going to be a lot of fun to pull into car shows. People think an ice cream truck's coming in, and uh, they're definitely not going to get served ice cream, but they'll definitely get served. So uh, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you have questions or comments, even dumb comments, comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care. <laughs>